Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to implement an online payment system in your Angular project using the PayPal API. I'll go over how to set up a PayPal account, and then I'll show you how to easily implement the buttons so a user can start paying online with the PayPal credit or with a credit card. For this to work, you'll need a business PayPal account. Take a few minutes to create an account. Go to paypal.com slash us slash web apps slash npp slash account selection. Once you have your business account ready, sign into it using the PayPal Developer Console by going to developer.paypal.com slash developer slash applications. Click on the My Apps and Credential menu on the left. You will see two options at the top, Sandbox and Live. We use the sandbox mode to create a virtual environment where we can test our transactions without the need of using a real credit card or a PayPal account. Later in the video, you will see how the console will generate testing accounts that we can use to make our payments. When you think you're ready to go live, just switch to the live mode and repeat the steps in this section of the video. Toggle the to sandbox mode and create an app project by clicking on the create app button. Put in your app name so you know that this will be for the app. You will be directed to another page with the app information. Copy the client ID. Go into your Angular project and locate the index.html file. Paste the client ID inside so you have it. Load the PayPal API by adding this code in the head tags. Put the client ID for your app after the equal sign. Open the command prompt and install the credit card payments package from NPM. If you're using Visual Studio Code, you can press the Ctrl and Tilde key to bring up the terminal and install the package. Go into the HTML file for the component you want to add the buttons to. Add a div element and give it an ID. In the components TypeScript file, add the imports to the render function from the credit card payments package. Lastly, call the render function. It takes in a JSON object with up to four properties, ID, currency, value, and a callback function that gets triggered when the transaction is successful. The ID is the ID of the element that we want to place our buttons in. If you recall earlier, we created a div and gave it an ID. We put that element ID in this field. The currency is the currency we want to use. The value is the amount for the transaction. Save the project and start the local server. Open the browser and go to localhost 4200. As you can see, we have our buttons. To test if everything is working correctly, we can use the PayPal Developer Console to generate accounts that we can use to test our transaction. In these accounts, we start with a balance of $5,000 along with a fake credit card that we can use. To access these accounts, go to the Accounts menu in the Developer Console.
you will see two accounts, one for the business side and one for the consumer side. This way, you can see what's happening in both perspectives. Hover over the triple dots button for the personal account and click on the view slash edit account option. In here, you will see the login information for the account. If you click on the funding tab, you will see the amount of balance they have for the account as well as the credit card information associated for that account. If we go to our app and click on the PayPal button, we can sign in using the testing account. We can choose to pay now or later with our balance or with the credit card. Instead of using our PayPal account, we can use the credit card option. Go back to the PayPal developer console and get the credit card information for the testing account. Then fill in the information. If you want to see if you really received the payments, log into the business account in the PayPal Sandbox website. Go to sandbox.paypal.com slash us slash home. Go to Activity and All Transactions. As you can see, we received the payments. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.